Following the impact of Hurricane Milton, this is the largest movement of Air National Guardsmen for domestic operations. For the air personnel, we have over 900 personnel activated. The possibility of it actually hitting Tampa and being a Category 5 storm, we really had to team together and uh, dig down deep and, and provide a big response. We were some of the uh, first ones out clearing the roads with our route clearance teams, uh, opening up for the roads for emergencies response vehicles. The Army and Air National Guardsmen worked alongside each other to perform search and rescue operations, points of distribution, route clearance, and more. Uh, we are there for points of distribution, which is critical, uh, especially for the counties and uh, neighborhoods that lose power, uh, to know that they have the, full, you know, the MREs that we have, the meals ready to eat, the water, uh, tarps, and, and ice, but also Again, being there to clear the roads to make sure that folks can move around and you know, get to places that are open. So for this mission, we activated up over 6,700 soldiers and airmen. And uh, most of which, almost 6,000, just over 6,000 were Florida Guardsmen. So Army and Air from Florida. There were 20, over 20 states that came to support uh, Florida after the uh, impact of Hurricane Milton. Um, as far away as Alaska, and I um, think the number was just over 3,000 that had volunteered to come in, and they were either moving uh, directly to the state or en route to the state to help. The Army makes us better because they, they ensure that we're integrated and we're providing the best impact we can to the citizens. Reporting from the Florida National Guard Joint Operations Center, this is Senior Airman Brooke Kiesler.